first of all as you can see that you have to install the VMware Workstation Pro so that you can install the other machines like Kali Linux and like I have Windows operating system Kali Linux Ubuntu and BIOS in my VMware for testing purpose so you have to install them in your VMware first of all you have to download VMware so you go to the google.com and type download VMware so you will see that there will be a file hipto so click on it and you can download the free version by clicking on here this link you will download the free version of VMware right after download that install it in your system like I have installed VMware in my system after installation you will see the graphical user like this now the task is you have to install Kali Linux in your system and how will you do that first of all you have to download the Kali Linux ISO file so go to website and type download Kali Linux go to official Kali Linux downloads and you can see that there are ISO files available so if your computer is 64 bit or your computer is 34 bit according to it click on the ISO file here and when you click on the ISO file the ISO file will be downloaded in your system put it in your D drive or C drive wherever you want so it's your task to download the Kali Linux operating system and VMware and install them so the Kali Linux ISO file is in your system it, that is which is downloaded now the task is to install Kali Linux in your system so let's proceed how you can install Kali Linux click on file click on new virtual machine and typical recommended it's okay now you have to browse where your, you have downloaded your ISO so I have downloaded the ISO in my C drive so I just double click on it and you will see that it has shown here now click on next your guest operating system it's your Linux operating system and version should be uh, you can choose any one of them according to your machine like Debian 864 bit it should be Debian click on next make it a machine like I want to create Kali Linux and click on next give it 25 GB space click on store virtual disk as a single file and click on next finish it and when you see that Kali Linux has been installed and click on power on to virtual machines this graphical user will come after that you have to click on graphical install so let's click on the graphical install right so it will take some time now this will come now click on the application and oh, I'm sorry click on the English click on United States click on American English it will detect the hardwares so it will do its work right it is installing in your system it is detecting your network hardware and waiting for attempting IPv6 auto configuration configuring the network with DSCP host name is Kali it's okay click on it domain name just blank click on continue you can make a password so I, I want to keep password like root and RWT and RWT type and click on continue it is setting up the clock Eastern okay click on okay now detect and hardware loading additional components starting up use the entire disk click on continue click on continue again click on continue finish it 
to write the changes to disk yes click on yes and continue now it takes some time to install the system it is a time taking process to installing the system so i'm gonna pause my video and when it installs i will sh show you the next steps okay yes so uh, when it comes to this and uh, then you have to uh, click on no i don't want to use network mirror right and click on continue and then it will the packet manager maybe it will take 10 minutes to in for installation but you have to keep patience for that and after that it will install the packet manager for you And then it comes then you have to click on yes to grab root loader and click on continue enter device manually no just go to the second option click on continue it will install the group and now it is finishing the installations It takes some time to install the Kali Linux in your system. And now you can see the installation is complete. Now, now click on continue to finishing the installation of Kali Linux. Now it is opening and installing procedure. It is installing so now this is this is the procedure of installing Kali Linux in your system after that you, you the login page comes type in login root and password is root remember it the username is root and the password is root after installation procedure mm. so you have to type root and in password you have to type root to open up the open up the Kali Linux. So this is how you can create the Kali Linux. You can install Kali Linux in your operating system. So thank you so much and see you in the next video.